<laughs> I woke up in the night and um, something was purring on my chest and I, I can remember looking up and I saw a cat and I shooed it away you see and I must have fallen off in a drunken stupor again and the next time I woke up there were about five of them I thought I'd really got the DTs and as this cat had brought its kittens yeah. <laughs> All around me. Yeah. <laughs> and after that, we arranged um, a sort of pseudo ashes. Uh, I had been a cricketer before I um, became a prisoner. I played a lot of cricket. I played for the army when we went when we came through Cape Town in South mm. Africa. Yeah. I played for the army, and uh, so I was chosen. And um, we played an Australian team. And uh, I think, uh, I, I'm not sure whether I'm right, but Chipperfield played. And there was one other test cricketer uh, who played. And mm. um, we had quite a game. Well, was, did you come across Swanton up yeah. there? Yeah, well, Jimmy Swanton mm. was, was on and off with me, mm. like uh, Richardson. Mm. Uh, Jimmy Swanton, um, he got winged with a bullet on his, on his arm. I remember him now walking around the camp in, uh, in a sort of um, bracketed thing like this with one arm for quite a few months. Oh. And um, uh, he used to lecture, uh, I used to lecture on art and Jimmy Swanton used to lecture on the test matches oh. and things like that. Oh. Uh, big chap he was. Oh. He, uh, he didn't do too badly because he was, he was still, um, you know, big sort of bloke. I, I, I never ever worked with him or got involved with him on the line. I, I can only remember him in some of the camps. Mm. Um, and we had this test match and then we all uh, um, we hand painted. I remember hand painting. Somebody had, a, the Union Jacks of course were terribly small and the um, Australian flag somebody had and brought up from Changi. So they had an Australian flag. Um, I don't think there was an American one. I painted one for, on the last stage set. A uh, Dutch flag. Um, and that was it, I think. There was one other, I'm sure. But anyway, so the humorous part of it was we, we paraded, you see. And, um, and then we sang the national anthems. Mm. And of course, uh, everything went well. We've mm. got to save the Queen. Yeah. And, um, well, there was Australia's national anthem too. And too, you see. Mm. And um, and then we got to the Americans, and of course, suddenly uh, out of I don't know how many Americans there were, probably twelve or fifteen or mm. something. They'd been in one of these um, um, squadrons that the Nips had downed. They were all Air Force pilots. Mm. And, and suddenly this uh, curious little crowd started singing um, um, Beautiful, beautiful Texas. Mm. <laughs> well, <Sam. laughs> And that to them was the American National Anthem. Mm. <laughs> Fred, I might just stop. Right, Fred, then. Uh, no, so at Count Chamburi we, we rushed around quite a bit early on. And one of my um, uh, special ventures was to see the abbot of Kanchanaburi and um, whoever was his um, assistant asked me to do a portrait of him. And so he was um, sat very carefully in a great armchair in front of an enormous pile of obvious pre presence um, given to the abbot at some time, which he was very proud. And he sat there in his um, monk's robes and I did a, two portraits of him because I kept one and the other one was lauded around. They were very, very pleased with it. And uh, there's a very touching ceremony at the end when he caressed me in the Buddhist fashion and then 
he took this uh, cord round his neck with a little bag on it, undid the bag, and he took out his his Buddha and uh, he kissed the Buddha and uh, you know did, did the usual sort of genuflections and then over it and then to my surprise he said that this would be with me all my life and look after me and so I have it to this day and there's the Buddha. Ah. Yes. Ah. It has the uh, priest's um, stamp on the bottom. Ah. Every priest is given one by his abbot. Yeah, can you just put it forward so we can yes. just see it? Up a bit. Up, 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 up. That's it, thank you. And this is the that's abbot? A, that's the Buddha. Yes, thanks, Joe. And. and uh, this, he, he's this a very, is, very colourful abbot, apparently. This is the abbot. Um, there, were, there were stories told that uh, a nip, who was a bit drunk, insisted on going up the stairs to this abbot's room. It was um, just a you know, very simple sort of room on, uh, on legs. Everything was on legs around Kanchanburi, I should have mentioned, but because of the... Um, flooding of the river and um, he'd got up to the top of the stairs and the abbot um, pushed him and threw him off the ladder. Um, so it's quite an interesting sort of chap to, to draw. Yeah, Fred, we're going to have to move things yes. along I'm afraid. And then I'd like to say a word about the um, p participation of the SFMVF oh, before people. Before you do, if yes. you oh, well, you want me to yeah, speak about Bill Drower? Yeah, just two minutes on that. Right. You know, B Bill Drower um, suffered m the most terribly um, un under, under Noguchi. Every attempt was made to try to, to ease things. And um, finally, anyway, you probably all know the story, but uh, Bill was um, allowed out and... Um, uh, it was uh, right toward the end because the Gucci had to go to Bangkok and uh, see some Japanese um, lawyers. So it was regarded with some concern. Um, he'd sworn that ba ba Drow would have to stay there uh, uh, till the end. And um, so I got in very quickly to the hospital and I, I did a portrait of Bill Drower and the two um, medicos who were looking after him um, were very kind about the portrait and um, wrote uh, inscriptions on the portrait. Um, as they say, and one of them says Bill had recovered enormously even by then, he was an absolute skeleton. When, when they picked him up. Terrible incident. Uh, started entirely by um, uh, a question of loss of face when an officer refused to carry a bucket of water for a, for a Jap soldier. Anyway, that was the Drower incident. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. And then um, uh, I've forgotten to mention the participation of the uh, uh, Federated Malay State Volunteer Force. We, of course, only uh, mostly uh, got involved with the officers, uh, many of whom had been uh, commissioned right towards the end, um, just before capitulation. And um, 